Hello everyone, my name is uh, Stefan Palkowitz. I'm currently working as a consultant, cataract surgeon and dry eye specialist in Vienna. And I would like to talk to you about dysphotopsia. Dysphotopsia is a quite common phenomenon occurring after an almost uh, perfect or an uncomplicated cataract surgery, but it can have significant impact on the patient's uh, quality of life. We can distinguish two different types of dysphotopsia. On the one hand, we have positive dysphotopsia, characterized by bright streak of lights and or halos and glare disturbing the patient. On the other hand, we have negative dysphotopsia, uh, characterized by a crescent dark shadow, most commonly in the far peripheral temporal field. The etiology of both types are different. Whether the etiology of positive dysphotopsia is quite well understood, making the IOL and the IOL edge in more specific responsible for the internal reflection, the cause of negative dysphotopsia is not that well understood. There is uh, different theories uh, available. Uh, one, uh, one theory is that there is a somehow an illumination gap between light rays entering the eye and hitting the eye well and light rays uh, missing the eye well. Due to this configuration, a small gap of light, gap of light is shined to the nasal part of the retina. The good news is that the vast majority of patients suffering from negative or positive dysphotopsia will experience a, that the symptoms resolve or get better over time. And only a very small, a small amount of patients have severe symptoms or in these patients, uh, in a very small amount, we need treatment. When we need treatment, the only thing we could do in general is to have uh, the, uh, the patient going back to the OR, somehow relocating the IOL, maybe exchanging the IOL. So this is a quite a significant, uh, quite a significant uh, treatment option for these patients. For that, it is quite important that we educate our patient very well, that we tell the patient that uh, the symptoms usually get better over time and they uh, could have could wait and they could then they have a quite good chance that the symptoms resolve. But if the symptoms doesn't resolve, don't resolve, or uh, the symptoms are quite bad or severe for the patient, they definitely need to do something.